if we have this part that has this feature inside, and then I put a profile of a line tolerance of 0.1 here, what this means, this is what we already know. I will go to the shape and draw the shape again, a little bit smaller and a little bit larger. And the offset between these two shapes that I draw is the value of the tolerance zone 0.1. And then the real shape has to lie inside it. This until now, the definition of the profile of a line as we know it. What's going to come new now is that we will use a data. Once we use a datum for the profile tolerance, in addition to its being a form tolerance, it becomes also a tolerance of orientation and of location. So, if I point at this surface here and say this is surface A, then I put here surface A in the feature control frame. This means that profile has to be 0.1 with regard to surface B, which means this distance here to surface A has to be controlled as well. So before we put surface A as a datum, the shape just had to have this form with a tolerance of 0.1 regardless of its location. So, if the shape here in the real part was actually here, all that's going to happen is that I will try to fit these two lines to achieve the best measurement. So, they will move with the shape to its new location, and it will be okay because we try to achieve the best fit with the part and the tolerance zone, as this is a fawn tolerance. But once I put surface A as a datum, now I mean the distance to the surface A also has to be taken into consideration. Consequently, I would like to give information about the distance. Let's say it's 22. And now I have also an information about the location of the shape on the path. Now I controlled not only that the distance between these two shapes is 0.1, but I also control the location of the tolerance young. But even with datum A, the part can be here, and it can also be here. The distance will still be 22 in both cases. So, if I want to control this as well, if this is also important for me, then I have to add one more datum, datum B, and also give some information about the distance to datum B. Let's have a look at another example. We have this cylinder. And inside the cylinder, there is this hexagonal shape in the front view. It looks like that. And if I put here a diameter sign and say this is 10, and on my dimension line of this diameter 10, I put a date and A sign. This way, I said the center line of the cylinder, whose diameter is 10, is called A. Then I put here a profile of a surface with a value of 0.1 from A. In the measurement, I have to draw the perfect hexagonal shape according to my theoretical dimensions. And then I draw two other hexagonal shapes with a distance of 0.1 between them. This is my tolerance zone. The hexagonal shape has to lie in sight. But not only that, because I now used A as a datum, I have to find out where the center line of cylinder A is. It's Heath. And this center line, or axis of cylinder A, has to be the axis of my tolerance zone that I made. So I have to adjust its distance to be exactly on the center line. In this case, I don't have to put a theoretical dimension, because you don't put theoretical dimensions with zero. If you put a theoretical dimension saying this hexagonal shape has a dimension of zero from the center line of the cylinder, this information is already obvious on the draw. As you see, the profile of a line of a surface, when used with datum, they become very versatile tolerances. They control a lot of things. They control the form of a shimp, and they're not sensitive to the shimp. They're not like concentricity. It has to be a circle or perpendicularity, and it has to be 90 degrees. The garvelous of the shape, you can always use profile to control and if you use datums, and you can use it to control the location of vision. It's a tolerance. If you know how to use it correctly, it can be your go-to tolerance for lots of shapes. It saves a lot of time and complexity while designing, 
and also it gives it clear information while manufacturing and while major. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and drop a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts or questions. And if you're into leveling up your skills with expert-led content, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. For full courses, downloadable assignments, and certifications, head over to excetify.com. Start learning smarter today.